So I'm so lucky today to be in the same room as Dr. Jackie Joseph Bowen, um, who's got four decades of experience as a doctor and done a lot of work in the mental Ill illness in, um, sector. So thank you for coming today, Dr. J. My pleasure, Derek. Dr. Jackie. <laughs> Dr. Jackie, do you think in Australia we're doing enough work to raise awareness for suicide prevention, given it's the number one leading cause of death for men aged 15 to 44? Uh, I know I don't believe we are. Uh, my colleagues themselves have said that uh, it has now come to nearly epidemic proportions. The suicide rates have written, uh, written, risen exponentially. Now from the stats that I've seen, it's I think 50% of people in the next 12 months will experience a mental illness. Is that, is that true? Unfortunately it is true. With the climate that we live in, in the world that we live in, uh, the stressors are rising, the isolation is rising, and also the uh, post-traumatic stress is increasing. So, given that you, you mentioned the word stress, which is a, a big word today, um, if someone's feeling overwhelmed, what's something that they can do to stop them from feeling overwhelmed? Is there something that's simple to, a practice that's simple to do? Yes, uh, it is easier said than done mm -hmm. when you are feeling like that, but you need to act, you need to belong, and you need to connect. Okay. So, and one of the ways you do this is to give yourself a little bit of time out mm -hmm. and a little bit of time in. Time out is uh, to be mindful, to join some clubs, uh, do some exercise, eat well, and time in is to talk to somebody. You really need to talk to somebody and preferably somebody who is there in person, one-on-one. -on -one. So it's easy to say, hey, I, I want to put my hand up and listen. Mm -hmm. But what skill sets do those people that are wanting to listen need? Or what do they need to understand it, what to do while we're listening? There are specific things that you are known as listening skills and then to become an empathetic and responding listener what you need to do is speak all the time mm -hmm. and also to be able to reiterate to, to tell a person what they just told you because that helps. Dr. Jackie, I mean it's all, it's all fine and well for us to say hey lend an ear but do those people need to debrief? It is imperative that they debrief. Um, you need to be able to have someone else that you can talk to. So Beacon is really a big network. Someone that you can talk to about how you feel. But also part of the listening training is also there is a part that's called resilience training. And that shows you how to maintain your own balance where the boundaries are between your own self and that person and how to stay alert, happy, successful and not allow this depression to become part of you. It is very easy to fall into that category. Mm -hmm. So it would be something where we would really gather the people who are helping and say, you don't have to tell us what happened, but we would just like to check on you that you're all right. All very good psychotherapists and psychologists have debriefing. All our police have debriefing as well. So the Beacon people should also be able to avail themselves of very quick de debriefing. So if you'd like to be involved with the Beacon campaign, if you'd like to lend an ear, or you have a business and you'd like to be part of funding the whole national campaign, please hit the button below and contact me direct. Will we fix the problem today? Maybe not. Will we fix it tomorrow? Definitely. So let's work together to help the Australian community for the better.